Her name is Gitanjali Rao. She's a seventh grader at STEM School Highlands Ranch in Colorado. Of all of the high achieving students in her accelerated science class, she's managed to stand out. I have just been interested in science in general, um, no matter if it's biology, chemistry, physics, or even aerospace. The blue box she's holding recently propelled her into the limelight. Introducing Tethys, the easy to use, fast, accurate, portable, and inexpensive device to detect lead in water. Her invention, named for the Greek goddess of water, helped her beat 300 other competitors in this year's Discovery Education 3M Young Scientist Challenge. When they call my name, I wish completely shaking. I was screaming in my head. I was like this. Poisoning the water. It was the Flint, Michigan water crisis in which lead was found to have contaminated the city's water supply that drove Angeli, as she's known, to create a sensor which uses carbon nanotubes to detect the presence of lead. She says her method is more reliable than lead test strips. Basically, all you have to do is dip the cartridge into the water you wish to test. Once you do that, all you have to do is pull out your phone and open up the Tethys app in order to get your results. A 3M scientist worked with her to make her invention competition ready. And she is incredibly tenacious and determined. And so she really, what she was proposing for this summer, I think is phenomenal for someone who's 11 years old. It's the sort of thing her school encourages. Teachers and a 3D printer helped her build and test the device. We're all about the real world problem solving and um, empowering students to take charge of those problems and solve them. America's new top young scientist is not only good at finding solutions, she's mastered the art of explaining them to audiences large and small. I added a Bluetooth extension so that I can send all the data to your mobile phone in a user-friendly app format. Any questions? Could you use the She made the rounds of TV talk shows shortly after her victory. Are you famous now? I don't know. My, my friends think I am. She pours over scientific magazines and university websites in search of new ideas. She'd like to be a geneticist or epidemiologist someday. Most 11-year-olds wouldn't be doing this stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here you are. <laughs> first things first, though, for this young entrepreneur, bringing her lead tester to market. Yeah, I see that happening in about a year. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.